how things work tonight. My co-anchor for the day, Betty Kello, tells us how the rubber, after a lot of hard work behind the scenes, finally meets the road. Take a look. Cars, we love them, need them, use them, or dream of owning them. But you know, a car is just another metal blob without this. Tires. Ever wonder how tires are made? Tonight, we'll tell you how on how things work. Some call them shoes, others black circles. But whatever the name, they have come a long way in terms of evolution. From these to what you have today on your road machine, it can only get better. The time-making process is one that will make you appreciate the ever-growing intelligence and determination of man to make work easier while still churning out quality products. This is the Yana Tire Factory. This production plant manufactures up to 2,400 tires a day, 62,000 in a month. Let's get this started. This is the storage facility. Here, rubber, which is the main ingredient of tires, is in abundance. Rubber, rubber, and more rubber. This rubber is imported mainly because Kenya does not have the rubber tree from which rubber is extracted from. So the main raw materials in uh, when making tires, we have uh, the rubbers, then we have uh, the carbon wrap, then we have the textiles, those are the nylon uh, fabrics, then we have the steel coats, then on top, of, on top of that we have uh, the rubber cables. Well, in a short while, you will understand what those ingredients are all about. But for now, have you ever wondered why tires have to be black in color? While at the storage facility in the factory, I learned that the black color of the tire is not functional but artistic. This simply means that you can have blue tires, yellow tires, red tires. Problem is, what happens when it rains? The black basically takes a load off your back in terms of cleanliness. From the storage facility, everything starts to get exciting. All the ingredients move on the conveyor belt to this mixer. This is the Banbury machine. Here, the rubber, carbon black, which is the pigment of tires, rubber chemicals are mixed. This control panel aids in the mixing of ingredients to achieve the required uniformity. When the mixing cycle is complete, the hot mixture is dropped onto the rolling mill. The mill acts like a giant pasta maker, ensuring all the rubber is in uniform thickness. Then it rolls onto the wigwag machine. Here, the mixed rubber is cooled and layered onto a manageable pile. The quality control laboratory is the next stop. Here, the rubber is tested, and if it is approved, it goes on to the next stage. Here, the terminologies start getting a bit complex. We check how the rubber is curing. What's that? It's called for organization now. Make no mistake to think that we're even close to the end product. This is a part of the factory that begins the assembly process. The rubber that is now ready goes through two main processes, extrusion and calendaring. During the extrusion process, tire components like tread and sidewalls are produced. During steel extrusion, steel coils that are in spools rotate and come out in a uniformed fashion and the rubber is forced between them. The second process is calendaring whereby fabric that is made of polyester and nylon is coated with rubber. From there, the tire components from the stages, remember the extrusion and calendaring, now go to the assembly area where they are assembled onto each other. And finally, the tire starts taking a familiar shape. The tire then goes to the next step where it is blown up and the steel belt and tread are added to obtain a green tire.
final process of the production is what they call curing. Well, this is not the typical medical process, but rather the baking process. Here, the tire is placed into the molds that are heated up up to 180 degrees Celsius. They are cured for about 10 minutes to one hour, depending on the type of tire. It is here that the tire gets the trade pattern and the markings on the sidewall. Then, after the cure, the tire pops and drops. Before the tires leave the factory, inspection has to be begun to ensure that no defective tire gets into the market. And that is how things work in the tire factory. Betty Kialo, how things work.